So we are here in Temecula, California, and if you're not sure where that is, Temecula is about an hour and 15 minutes outside of San Diego. So when you're planning your trip to San Diego, and if you want to check out Southern California's wine country, then you definitely need to make a stop to Temecula. So today we're going to hit um, three different wineries and we're going to do some wine tasting. And um, they're kind of like all in a row. So it's really, really easy when you come and visit. But this is like a fun day trip. If you're staying in San Diego and you want something, you know, just a little bit of a different flavor from the city. You saw we visited La Hoya in our previous video. You saw we, you know, did a bunch of different things, shopping and dinner and all that stuff. And now we're gonna hang out and just enjoy the countryside of Southern California. So let's go. Okay guys, so when you walk in, they have a tasting room and you can see right behind me this beautiful tasting room and they have like amazing views and really nice restaurants. So we are gonna head there pretty little bit and check out the menu and see if we're gonna stay for lunch. Um, this is Vicky right here. Say hello Vicky. Hi. She is our sommelier. Sommelier. Am I saying it right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, that, the French trips me up a little bit, so yeah. Anyway, so we just bought a tasting of six, um, we just bought like a tasting flight, which Hans and I will share. So you guys will get to see that. And um, you're, we basically, you just pick which wines you want. And um, Vicky is gonna help us in which, you know, like flavors and stuff maybe to check out which different wines. I think I'm gonna start with the Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. okay. You'll get the citrus, mango, and uh -huh. green apple on that. Okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay, so all local wines, I paid $25 for the flight of six. And we can try basically anything on this menu, which is even your featured for members. Right? Yeah. So you have to tell me about that when we get to okay. the Okay. So. All right, Hans is gonna give his, his opinion now. So Hans just said he's not a wine person, but he's gonna give his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. It's so dry. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, one in for the win. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> Cheers. So our Chardonnay is neutral French barrels uh, on the leaves, so you get a creaminess to it. Also, you get the pear and spice. Mm. Go ahead, you go first this time. He does like Chardonnay, so let's oh, see. Okay. doing when I'm on vacation is meeting new people and you saw the beautiful ladies I just met on a girl's trip and now I just we made new friends so I love it anyway I'm gonna show you around the rest of this um, venue this is a beautiful place for weddings so if you girls are out there watching this video and you're like I want to get married at a vineyard this is a really nice place for Proceeded here. Beautiful, beautiful setup with the vineyards in the back. Hey guys, so next stop on the wine tour is the Robert Renzoni Winery. And here we are. Look how beautiful this place is. Take a look around. 
Just a different flavor from where we just were. Very and Italian, Tuscan. Very Tuscan, very Italian. Just beautiful. Let's go. Hey guys, so we are about to do a tasting at the Robert Renzoni Vineyard and um, you get five tastings for $25 and this free beautiful wine glass which we'll be taking home with us. So let's go ahead and each of our chips represents a tasting. So let's do it. Okay, so we're tasting the Prosecco and I love Prosecco if you know me so we're gonna try it. Would you like to have a taste, Hans? A taste. Mm. Yeah, do you have the film? Alright, so Pinot Grigio, trying the Pinot Grigio. So we're in Temecula, California, and we've traveled so much. And I just, I, I have to tell you, I love to travel the beaches of the world with you and also the vineyards of the world. Mm. I love it too. So Hans is going to give you a little tour of what's behind us. Am and, I? Yeah. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Just show everybody. Oh. It's just a beautiful place. If you look at it, it has like, look at this bridge here. Watch the car go down and you're going to hear it. Watch. <laughs> it looks like it's about to break. <laughs> it's solid wood. It's, uh, it, it just has goes with the whole ambiance of the place. And look at the mountain ranges. Look at the roads that lead to somewhere. It looks so adventurous that you just want to climb it and hike it. Look at that person that lives right there in that white house. I mean, look at the view that he gets, you know? Look at the mountain ranges here. When you just want to just like, look so adventurous that you just want to climb it and go somewhere, you know? So now we are headed to our third winery. The name of the winery is Ponte. So first we visited Leonis's cellar. Then we visited Robert Vincenzia. Oh my gosh, how am I forgetting these names? It's because I've been drinking wine. Okay, Robert Renzoni. So Leonis's, then hold on, let's, let's do that. There we go. So Leonis's, then Robert Benzoni. Now we're headed to Ponte Winery, and the last stop will be Chapin. So those are the two more that we're going to, and we'll hit everything before it closes. I think the vineyards around here close around six or seven o'clock. So if you're looking to do like a day trip, just get here early when everything opens. Check when all the wineries open. It's around 10 or 11 a.m. All of them are different, so you know um, just keep that in mind as well, and be prepared to eat at some of them. We ate a little bit at. Leonisis, and now we're gonna eat at Ponte, and then we're gonna have some more wine at Chapin. Just keep going. And now we're gonna go check out the next, so let's go. Hey guys, so third one on the wine tour in Temecula. We're at the Ponte Winery. Ponte, Ponte, whatever you want to say, whatever accent you want to give, but we're going to go have a tasting at this winery, so. Or maybe a flight. Or maybe a flight. Hopefully a flight, because we just want to sit down somewhere and like taste on our own versus just waiting in a bar and getting the tasting. Okay guys, so this place that we're at, Ponte Vineyards, they have a restaurant, they have a hotel, and they have a, like a really decent grounds. So if you're looking to have a party and have a bunch of people here, this is a great place to come. So check this out. Here we go. So much seating everywhere, right? So many tables and there's those um, lamps, to, you know, for the fire, fire lamps. And then just so pretty. You can, there's a bunch of benches everywhere, like a little fountain. There's more seating over that way and over all here there's even an indoor like place over there where you can have like any type of party it's just it's gorgeous hey guys so we're here at our fourth and final destination chapin vineyards 
So we've, like you, you've seen, we've hopped around different vineyards and now we're gonna do a tasting here. And so at the end of this vlog, we're gonna stay tuned because we're gonna give you like our review of all the four vineyards that we've traveled to, and we've checked out. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to this video and share it with anybody you think that would be traveling to Temecula and want to know about wine tasting in Temecula. Let's go. This is Pinot Grigio, and that's Chardonnay. I like my Pinot Grigio a lot. I mean, actually, did she say Pinot Grigio? Yeah. She did, right? I like my Sauvignon Blanc. This is Sauvignon Blanc, and this is Pinot Grigio. I like my Pinot Grigio. Like Montepicciano. Negative. Negativo. All right. Ooh. 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 Here, and now it's my turn. Ah, smells amazing. He doesn't like red wine, but I do. Mm. So guys, right now we're gonna do a recap of all the vineyards we've been to, okay? I'm gonna do the first recap, Hans will do the second. First vineyard we went to was Leonisis. Leonisis was the best ambiance we've been to. We went, we sat, we had music. It was just, it was like the perfect atmosphere for a chill, chill time. The wine was okay, but the atmosphere for me, the atmosphere is of most importance. So I rate that number one. The next vineyard we went to, the Robert Renzoni Vineyards. And Robert Renzoni had the best wine. I think I appreciated the tasting there a lot more. You got a free glass of like their signature style of glass with their logo on it. The tasting was $25, but the wine was really good there. Like really good. I wish they had food. That was, I, I wish I snuck food in and just sat there and ate my food. We ate at Leonese's, but I will wish Leoness, Leoness Cellars. We ate at Leoness Cellars, but I wish we ate at the Robert um, Renzoni Vineyards. Then we went to Ponte Winery. And Ponte Winery was supposed to have food. It has full service Italian restaurant, but guess what? It was closed. So we ordered one glass of wine and I liked it. It was like more like a Prosecco. It was supposed to be like a Moscato, but it, was, it tastes like a Prosecco. And the ambiance was really nice, way better than here. Seriously. So we hang, hung out there for a bit, and then we came to Chapin. And Chapin, so if uh, Chapin is nice, beautiful mountain, mountain views. You guys can see it over here. You wanna show them the mountain views? But, out of four vine <laughs> vineyards, I'm gonna rate them now. Hold on, I'm gonna rate them. Okay, ready? One through four. So number one, Leonis is first. Number two, Robert Ranzoni. Number three, Ponte Winery. And number four, Chapin Vineyards. Chapin Vineyards, the tasting of six flights of wine, $20, the cheapest, cheapest you can go. But ambiance, not the best it's okay basic hashtag basic hey guys so i hope you enjoy our review of four temecula wineries we showed you ambiance we showed you wines we showed you just everything in between and hope you spend a day when you're in san diego in temecula and just enjoy the surrounding beauty and get a good taste of the wine there you go, Southern California. Woo!